Thank you very much for visiting Rock My Edits and today I'd like to show you how to use the snow globe template. Before I begin, I just want to clarify with many who will view this as copying. It is not the digital image of any other company. I actually own this uh, particular globe. This is actually the brick on my home and I use it multiple times in the templates that I'm going to give you for free to um, to use for sale to your clients um, or, or to give to them free. I have no concern of what it is. But I just wanted to let you know this is actually my product, nobody else's. The globe is something that is not a new concept. It's been used back when film was done. So rest assured you're getting a product that is mine. And I just wanted to show you just so that nobody has any questions. These are my digital images with my globe um, in here. Let me find a particular photograph that has it so that you can see that this is, so you can see I was too hot on the original photograph, but these are my pictures of my globe at my home. So we can get back to uh, the work here. Um, basically this is the end product and um, I just threw in any image that I was working with at the time but certainly you can use what would best be an outside um, image uh, making it smaller. So what you have here when you open up the template is the globe itself and a layer called snow overlay. The snow overlay needs to be put on the top of uh, all of your layers so that it is uh, visible slightly with a very low opacity. And you can turn this down much more if needed. Um, then once you open the image and you have these two layers that are sitting there as a PSD file, you just go to File and Place and choose the photograph that you want to put in. Once you place an image in here, you will need to then resize it. So let me show you um, the photograph. So basically get one of your images. Um, I find that horizontals work best. So I'm placing the image in here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and select that it's placed. I'm not going to resize it at this time because I like to go ahead and change the opacity down so that I can see the globe and resize it accordingly. So then I will go to free transform and I'm holding down my shift only button. Please make sure it's your shift button and not um, any other button with it because then that will distort the image. So once I have resized it for her to fit inside of the globe, then I am going to go ahead and Click my arrow, accepting it. Then I will go ahead and place a layer mask on it. This layer mask will allow me to erase off all of those areas that I do not want. Um, I like to use a large brush and brush around, uh, not being very particular because you do want the edges um, to slowly fade into the globe. Once you have that erased, you can then turn up your opacity and adjust it and that's how you feel. So I'm going to erase even more of it so that I get a nice amount of edging um, for the globe. If you make any mistakes and you want to bring something back, you just switch over to a white paintbrush and then you can bring her back into that area. And then I'm going to just gently erase it away. Um, making your brush smaller around particular parts will allow it to um, come in. I'm not going to spend um, a lot of time going through here and editing this just because uh, I don't want to ruin um, any download time. So now I need to make sure that I pull it underneath the snow overlay because again you want this overlay to be on the top of it. You can use a paint brush if you click on the layer mask and get a black paint brush. You can paint away any areas that you don't want the snow to be on. So if you don't want it on her skin, you don't want it on her face, then you can go ahead and erase that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it in. I had it erased for a different photograph in different areas. 
So once you're all set, then you just go ahead and go file and save as. Thank you so much for watching.